Hi friends, welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Friends, today we're reading Little Bunny's Bedtime by Jane Johnson and illustrated by Gabby Hansen. My returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new to our channel, I hope you enjoy our story and I hope that you give us a thumbs up and that you subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. Ah, oh, peace and quiet at last, said Mrs. Rabbit. All my children are tucked snugly into bed. But Mrs. Rabbit had spoken too soon. I can't sleep, Mommy, said her youngest little bunny. Mrs. Rabbit tried a gentle lullaby. Rock a bye, bunny, in the treetop. When the wind blows, little bunny's eyes began to close. Is my bunny sleepy now? whispered Mrs. Rabbit. No, said Little Bunny, not sleepy at all. It's time for bed, isn't it? Mrs. Rabbit tried a bubble bath. Rub-a-dub-dub, my bunny needs a scrub, she sang. Who's my beautiful baby? I am, Little Bunny said, smiling sweetly. And is my little bunny ready for bed? Mrs. Rabbit asked hopefully. No, said Little Bunny, not bedtime yet. Mrs. Rabbit tried warm milk. Sturry, whirly, creamy, white, she said with a yawn. Time to cuddle and say good night. <gasps> cuddle, yes. Good night, no, he said. He wanted to stay up with his mommy forever. They both need to get some sleep, don't they? What am I going to do with you? asked his worn out mother. Little Bunny jumped up excitedly. Hoppity, hoppity, hop, he said, round and round the room till I <gasps> flop, whispered Mrs. Rabbit snored little bunny. She wore him out, didn't she? Ah, peace and quiet at last, said Mrs. Rabbit, and she fell into bed, but through her snores she heard, what did she hear? Ah, her second youngest bunny called, Mommy, I can't sleep. Oh, she's gonna have to do it again, won't she? Friends, I hope to see you tomorrow for our next news story. Until then,